a brand new travel vlog. It's like I can't stop, won't stop. Um, I'm currently sat in prep, so I hope you can hear me. I look really, really dishevelled, but I literally could not be bothered to put any makeup on this morning because I'm heading to Cyprus. You would have guessed, guys, by the title of this video. I'm flying solo. My parents are already out in Cyprus, so I thought I would come and meet them for a week or so. It's going to be really nice just to get some sunshine. I will be working out in Cyprus as well. I'm actually going to be trialling remote working and seeing if that helps boost my mood and my productivity. We'll see. I mean, that's easier said than done. And the only thing is, when I'm in Cyprus, I feel like time just stands still. So we shall see how good this works. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for this vlog. I'm really excited to be taking you guys to Cyprus again and hopefully finding some new places on the island. I want to try a few new places, but of course, I have my favourite. Um, destinations and spots and like places for food so I will probably be going there I can't wait I've been thinking about going to Timmy Beach and yeah it's just like one of my happy places get myself a morning coffee I'll also link in the suggested one of my previous travel books and travels which was actually I think end of September or actually no I think it was October so um it's my first time traveling this time of year in June in like quite a while so we shall see I feel like it's gonna be a lot hotter but yeah it's currently just chilling listening to um JP Lang's podcast with Sophia Boom the nearly words podcast I feel like I'm late to the game but I'm really enjoying it and even though I'm not getting married it's really fun to watch so yeah I'm just I'm just enjoying it and listening to my podcast. I've got my cup of tea. I decided to go for peppermint tea this morning, which is really not like me. Um, don't get me wrong, I love a peppermint tea, but I usually have like an iced coffee, so I might get one of those for the flight. But we'll see. I've just had my acai bowl, and yeah. Um, right, so let's go. It is extremely busy in the terminal as well. Like, it is definitely summer season now. Like it's full. It's full of people. Um, but yeah, I was through security pretty quick, so I can't complain. Let's so see you guys in Cyprus. Hey guys, so I have arrived in Cyprus. It's nice and hot. Got myself in my bikini, ready to get a little bit of a tan on and just chill. Um, but yeah, I arrived probably about two hours ago had lunch had a lovely greek salad with like all the trimmings i will pop on screen and also in the description the place that um we went to get all the bits obviously i haven't got any like clips to show you but the food is amazing so if you're in paphos you must check it out for like grocery items and the bakery they also have an amazing coffee shop which i featured before on this vlog um but yeah we had this amazing lunch which was so nice so fresh and just Oh, I love a Greek salad so much, or a Cypriot salad. Um, but yeah, I've got my swimsuit on, ready to tan. Flight was easy, relatively. I was a little bit cold, um, I have to say. So I probably could have done with like a layer. All I had was like a t-shirt. I did have leggings on, um, but it was still quite chilly. I think it's because it was hot in the UK and then coming over to Cyprus, it was also hot as well. So I think they thought we wanted to be cold, but actually it does kind of get to you when you're like constantly being blasted with like cold air. Also as well, I don't want to be like weird for saying this as well on the vlog, but Amy Childs was on my flight. She was a couple of seats in front of me and she was with her fiance and her twins. And oh my goodness, like this is all I'm gonna say on the situation. Firstly, she looks amazing. She looks super glamorous as per usual. Um, her gorgeous, gorgeous twins were so amazing and just like slept the whole way through. They were just a, a delight, like everyone around um where they were sort of sitting was kind of in awe and honestly the babies were so cute um so that was like a real surprise this morning i was like oh my gosh because at first actually i noticed her fiance and i was like where do i know you from like i really recognize your face like he got on first with one of the twins and then um amy got on and i was like that's it like i couldn't place it um but it's just super funny but um yeah i've just a really random thing to add to the vlog. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go sit in the sun now and just chill. I might do a little bit of like vlogging clips today, but as we know, first day of the holiday and like arriving, I never put too much pressure on myself just because it's an early start and I just wanna get into the zen zone. And also it's Saturday, so I wanna chill. So yeah, let's go hang out by the pool. Hey guys, so we're at 
dinner. We're pina colada in. Cheers, boo. Mom's drunk the most. <laughs> Mom's drunk the most, of course. It's gonna be good. Dad's in um, trouble. Dad's in trouble. But yeah, where? What was it called again? Gabriel. Gab Gab Gabriel's. Gabriel's. Oh god, Ga Gabriel's. 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 Um, Gabriel's. This is where I had the heart cake, which when I cut the cake last time, it was like a heart shape, like bubble, like indentation in the cake, and I saw it as a sign. Um, oh gosh, lightning tomorrow. Are you sure? So I want to talk about this. Why is the weather in England so good right now? Everywhere else is so weird. Like Italy. No. You are you are on the bronze side. But Italy, like what's going on in Italy? That's what I want to know. But yeah, it's a little bit chilly tonight, so we've got we've got a coat on, well, a leather jacket. Oh, okay. This is what we call a slippery slope. And mum's going down it. <laughs> yeah, no, but it's nice to be with the fam. Daddy. Yeah. Daddy who honest. actually looks a bit like um, someone Swiss who owns a, a yacht. A yacht. A yacht. <laughs> he looks a like a yacht. <laughs> I just said a yacht. <laughs> a yacht and a boat. <laughs> a yacht. <laughs> Swiss Tony over there. Who's that? Oh, okay. okay. Well, we'll see. But we've just ordered. What have you gone for? Calamari. Dad's got a mixed grill, and I've gone for the veggie moussaka, guys. So. Plus starters. Plus starters. Yeah. Honey halloumi. No. This is yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah, kookli is nice. This is lovely. Thanks, Jane McDonald. home now back in my room i've decided to do a really random thing and braid like all my hair but just kind of push it behind and bunch it all together um so it's up my face whilst i take my makeup off but before i go to bed and before i take my makeup off i wanted to say good night to you guys and yeah this is the vibe <laughs> this is what's happening right now so I will see what this is like in the morning. I can't promise it's going to be anything good, but my hair's quite long now at the moment, so I just thought I would mix it up and have like maybe wavy hair for by the pool tomorrow. I think tomorrow's going to be quite a chilled day, I hope. Um, I'm feeling so tired because obviously I got up so early this morning. I literally was up at 3 a.m. So, oh, I'm going to get an early night. Like it's literally only like half past nine. Um, here at the moment so um, yeah I'm gonna get into bed have a nice chilled one and I think this trip is gonna be like really nice self-care vibes um, it's actually a new moon tomorrow in is it in Gemini I feel like it's in Gemini let me check um, but the full moon the full moon the new moon is really really quite sluggish and um yeah it's just kind of requiring us to be more restful with our time yes it's a new moon in gemini and yeah basically i just need to take it easy take it slow enjoy the vibes of cyprus and yeah i feel like i really want to do some writing whilst i'm out here i think i mentioned that before but um lots of writing lots of reading and just chilled chill vibes 
Um, but I will see you guys in the morning. I'll let you guys know how this goes and if it looks good. If it doesn't look good, then I'll just hop straight into the pool and it'll be problem solved. But yeah, this is what I'm doing and um, I'm going to say goodnight. So, goodnight. Good morning, guys. So, I slept in my braids last night and I'm ready to take them out. I've just had breakfast. So I thought, let's see if this has actually worked or not. Um, this could go horribly, horribly wrong, <laughs> but we'll see. So let's give it a shot. I'm just going to work out where to put you guys. Um, so you stay. Okay. Also, excuse the fact that I am in my bikini. I don't know how easy this is going to be, whether this is going to look cute, but it's not the end of the world if it goes wrong because I can just jump in the water. Okay. So far, I don't hate it, but you never know with these things. Like last year, I did crimp my hair when it was this sort of length. I brought a crimper with me, but if you're someone who can't fit it in your case, do you know what? I actually quite rate that. It's a really nice way to do something with your hair without really doing something. Like it's minimal, minimal effort, but it looks like you've put a lot of effort in to your hair. Um, I tend to really just steer towards straight hair because I don't always have time to curl my short hair, even though I do love how it looks. And when I do do it, I go through a bit of a phase of just doing it. I mean, so far, it's looking pretty cute. I've just got one more, I think, underneath to take out. Yeah, so I used one, two, three, four, five, six. I used six braids in my head to do this. And it's actually quite cute. Oh no, there's another one. There's me going, there's six braids. There's seven. Seven braids. Oh, do you know what? It's actually really nice to be free of them. Guys, this is the look. I mean, I don't look so great in this lighting right now, but imagine like a little bikini photo. It would look really cute. Well, you could even like go in and then re-braid the top bits or do like a little twist and like pin it back. There's a lot of options there, but I quite like it. So this is the hair. It's quite cute, I'm not going to lie. Um, I've got my morning coffee. The house now has an espresso machine, so I'm very happy. Um, I've only just discovered it this morning. And um, yeah, I've had my first coffee of the holiday, which is really nice. Last time I was here, I didn't have any coffee except for the coffees that I bought like outside, like out and about. So, oh my gosh, I was having withdrawals. I woke up this morning even just feeling really sluggish because yesterday I didn't have any coffee, um, which again is unlike me. So I think that's why I was so shattered. I'm gonna have this coffee and hope that it just gets me back alive, um, which I know is a bad thing. I shouldn't rely on coffee to do that, but oh my gosh, does it make a difference? Um, but yeah, I think today is gonna be like a chill by the pool in the morning, and then we might head to potentially Coral Bay, which will be really nice, because I actually haven't been to Coral Bay since I was about 14, maybe. Um, so that's gonna be a real throwback if we do go there. Um, but I'll keep you guys posted, take you along for the day. Yeah, this is my no heat braids that I slept in last night. I mean, some bits look a little bit questionable, but it's fine for around the pool if you just want to make the slightest bit of effort. It's easily done.
Good evening. I have got a gin and tonic for the occasion and they do not measure things here, so there's a lot of gin. I've got a ginless and coke. A ginless and coke. And they don't scrimp on the ginless. I've got many gins. <laughs> It's blue eyes, hold on, hold on. I know, the I know. Blue and the tan. Swiss Tony. I don't know who that is. Look at his blue eyes. I know, the blue eyes, the tan. Close your eyes. Oh, you can see the little white. <laughs> <laughs> so that means the whole time he was tanning, his eyes were open. Which is a first. Which is a first. But yeah, we're at the hideaway in Pasuri and come here before. It's two against one. Oh, it's two against one apparently. <laughs> Yeah, we are about to order. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do king prawns and a veggie meat. I'll see over there and say Gordon Bennett. Why? Because look at the boards. Gordon Bennett. Look at, look at the wall boards hanging up on the fan. No, I can't because that's where people. I can't. If I do that, people will think I'm filming them. There's a table under me. Gordon Bennett. Gordon Bennett. Oh boy. But yeah, it reminds me of night two, full day one. I don't know what this conversation is. <laughs> uh -oh. um, I'm giggly, but I haven't had any I know, so it's just you being giggly. Jolly, sunburnt person. Sunburnt person. And then you've got the merry man. What we're trying to establish is how someone can tan so much in the shade on a cloud set. Everyone's got their mains. Bobby's got his kebab. I've got a vegetable moussaka with a small side of fries. Mummy's got her kalaptico. 
Very delicious. All the flavours. Look at that. Oh wow. Amazing. That does look very good. I'm very excited to dig in. See lish. The best combination. <laughs> Good morning guys, welcome. Welcome to a little coffee moment on a bench. I'm just chilling right now, living my best life, having my favorite aroma coffee. This is um, possibly my favorite coffee spot in Paphos. I will pop it on screen and I'll link it below. Um, it's actually inside a bakery, but the coffee is incredible and they do ice drinks as well. This is an iced, um, I think it's an iced oat latte with foam. And a small pump of vanilla and it tastes so good mm. just what i fancied i'm just gonna pop it down there for a second but yeah i'm just sat in this square right now i'm by a church it's really really pretty really really pretty under this tree just shading for a moment whilst i have a couple of sips of my coffee but yeah feel very relaxed it's monday morning did a little bit of work this morning for fabric which was good and then yeah i've just come out to grab a coffee gonna get some like more grocery bits and then it's a pill, like a pool day and then i'll probably post and do a bit of work later in the afternoon as well but i thought i would just say hello good morning um i'm hoping this is focused don't even know if it is um but yeah just having the best slow start to the day, it's great. So this is my coffee. Just gonna have a little sip now and enjoy the vibes. I'm also going to hopefully shoot a little bit of content. I'm looking very barefaced. I've just got the tiniest amount of um, City Smart like SPF, I think it's SPF 50 with like a tiny bit of tint in by Estee Lauder and um yeah it's one of my favorites actually i oh, know it's not estee lauder is it it's elizabeth arden i always get them confused because they both start with e it's elizabeth arden city smart um spf and it's so good it's really good if you live in the city and it's really really good if you're in and traveling around in hot countries because it's such a strong spf it's really helped my skin i've noticed a massive difference actually in doing factor 50 on my face and my neck and my like decolletage because that is where i seriously like accidentally catch the rays even when i'm trying to protect and shield my face from the sun um it always seems to get i get a little bit sun kissed so i'm trying to trying to avoid that yeah, just having a leisurely morning. It actually doesn't look like I'm wearing a top. I promise you I am. This top's from Boohoo. It's really cute. It's got like a little corsage on it. It's very, very on trend for the moment. I have caved and I bought my first corsage item. I used to wear corsages all the time back in like 2006 to 2008. Every single top I owned had a little corsage going on and now it's back in fashion. Um, I also featured on my Instagram one of those chunky wide belts which was such a circa 2006 to 2008 moment. Um, I can't believe it. I can't believe it's all back. I will just show you my shoes actually as well because these are Boohoo. Um, aren't they so cute? They're like little western sandals, little slides and they're really comfy. I always love a Boohoo shoe. I've got this um, Joma jewellery anklet on as well. I'll link this below because this is brand new and again you guys know me I love an anklet and then I've also I'm going to show you my toes guys a little bit of foot content for free who am I um I did my toes myself like I painted these myself with um gel using the Miley gel kit so I'm going to link that below I actually really want to do a video on the Miley kit and I think what I'm going to do Sorry, let me zoom out. What I think I'm gonna do at some point when I'm home is do like a chatty, let's do nails together because it takes a little bit of time to do, but it's also amazing. And I've saved so much money since getting my own nail kit, like gel nail kit. So yeah, I highly recommend it. Again, I will link that in the description. Um, but yeah, I'm just rambling now, just having a little moment to myself, just chilling, enjoying the vibes and yeah nice sunny day in Cyprus can't complain 
Okay gang, I hope you can hear me. I'm at the beach. I've made it to Tiffy Beach and I've just had lunch. I've also just shot some content with my mum and my trusty tripod. I really hope the content has come out well. I haven't looked at it and I can't really see it very well on my phone. So we'll just have to hope and pray. Um, but yeah, I'm at one of my favourite beaches in Cyprus, Timmy Beach. It is actually completely and utterly dead. There is no one else here. And that's why I love it so much because I can come here. If I want to shoot content, I can shoot content. If I want to read and see no one, I can do that as well. But I just had lunch and... Um, yeah, had this amazing, like, I was going to say homemade, it's not, well it is technically homemade, but it was like a custom, um, like, pick your order, kind of like a Subway situation, but it was from the bakery, so I'm really, really happy with my lunch. You know when you eat something so good, it was delicious. I'm just going to show you this little cove here, look at this, it's insane. Um, but I wanted to hop onto the vlog because, honestly, I hope you can hear me. These types of days when you're just enjoying the beach and you're walking around in your thoughts and I just find I have the most inspo here and like my notes app is filled, like absolutely filled to the brim with ideas and thoughts and I've got a book, I'm going to read some of my book, hopefully get that finished on this holiday and yeah I'm just absolutely loving the peace and tranquility and also being able to work, like I'm, I'm working on it. But I think my vision for the end of this year and definitely into 2024 is remote working and remote travel with my job. And I think the plan really, the plan really is to find a home in different countries for like an extended period of time. So like not a holiday length time, maybe like a month or two, but kind of pick different destinations and yeah, just tick some travel off my bucket list, even to places that I've already been before because it's really nice just to come back to something you're familiar with. I'm certainly content here in Cyprus, like I, I love it and I, I think it's such an easy place to be. Sorry, I've just seen a rock that I want to pick up. Oh my gosh, look at that. Um, yeah, I'm just so content here and I have so many ideas and just life is just so amazing and the sunshine really helps, like boosts my mood. I hope you guys don't mind the rambling. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to update you. I've got my cowboy hat on. Finally got my hands on one of these. It's actually from Boohoo, which Boohoo has been showing up, like doing the most this year. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hype them up, you know. I know they're a fast fashion brand, but if you're finding pieces that you love and you know you're well over and over, then you might as well purchase it. So yeah, I've got this cowboy hat on, which I really love. I think it's gonna be great for traveling like to all different countries. Um, I will link it in the description, of course, so you can shop it as well. But yeah, just having a nice time. I think I'm gonna go and sit back down with my parents and do some reading. And yeah, just listen to the waves, enjoy life. And I might go for a swim, potentially. So if I go for a swim, I will of course vlog that as well. guys so my parents have gone home and I'm now just sort of chilling solo at the beach which is just my favorite thing ever um, I've just been reading my book around the world in 80 days it's the Michael Palin book series um, from his like original shows but obviously he wrote a diary as well at the time so this is his book it's so witty if you are interested in travel or you enjoy um, non-fiction 
travel books this is a really good option and I love the way he writes he honestly inspires me so much and um, yeah makes me want to write so much better because I feel like sometimes I can be a bit lazy with my description and I need to just like get better at it really but the only way really to learn these things is to read and to look at other people's work so yeah it's a really good way to work on your writing ability by reading more and I know it seems like an obvious thing but just in case anyone else was interested in writing um, travel related stuff or any type of writing actually um, but yeah I'm just chilling I'm enjoying my own company now I've just got some water and I know I should really be promoting this guys but if used with SPF it works so well to build a really even tan I think I've mentioned this before, this is what I use when I travel. It's the Keratin Gold Shimmer Intensive Tanning Gel. This really, really works to speed up an even tan. And so far, so good. Um, I'm just gonna turn on my stomach now and um, tan. There's no one here on this beach, so I might just take my bikini top off because there's literally nobody here. Um, it's actually quite liberating. Like it really is liberating to not have a bikini top on. I don't know what it is. It's like I love swimming in the ocean with nothing on. Um, probably like really outing myself right now. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a nice feeling. So I think I'm gonna take my bikini top off. Obviously not gonna be vlogging it guys, sorry. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm apologizing. But yeah, just, just enjoying my time. It's just so peaceful here. I love it. I love it so much. And I've got this crazy hat on, but I tell you what, top tip, sunglasses, these are prescription sunglasses actually from Mark Jacobs. Prescription sunglasses, if you need them, plus a hat creates the optimum reading combination. Like you don't get any glare of the sun hitting your eyes. And also the, the fact that you're wearing like sunglasses makes the pages of a book appear like darker. So it's less bright and like you're, you're not squinting as much. So it's my winning combination for being able to read whilst I enjoy the sun. But yeah, I'm just gonna chill now, enjoy my own company. Good evening gang. I'm back in my denim jacket because it's the evening and it's a little bit chilly. Um, actually it's not chilly right now but I know it will be. And we're walking to Olivio's which is a restaurant very close to where we're staying. So it's nice actually to get an evening walk in and it to not be too hot. Um, but yeah, this is the walk down and through the village and I know that the dogs aren't going to like the fact that I'm vlogging because <laughs> they can hear me. Um, but yeah, we're going to head to Olivio's, have a little light bite, maybe a couple of cocktails as well. They do really good cocktails that are so cheap here. They're like three euros for a cocktail. It's crazy. Um, I'm pretty sure the most expensive is like five or seven euros. It's crazy. Um, so yeah, we'll have a couple of those and something to eat. And then tomorrow is going to be a bit of a busy day. I say busy because we're going to try and pack it full with a few things. I can't remember what we're doing in the morning, but we're going somewhere. My mum's mentioned it. Um, and I think something to do with the boat trip. We'll see. And then we're going to do Coral Bay in the afternoon as well. So that'll be really lovely. But yeah, I just thought I would update you on my day. I'm all showered and like not sandy anymore because I was covered in sand. Um, yeah, just enjoying the walk down to the restaurant. I've got this dress on as well, guys, which you'll recognise from my Maldives pictures and my Maldives vlog. It's a little dress from Boohoo that I've literally, I love to wear when I'm traveling. So yeah, let's go to dinner. Ready? Charles? Try it, give it a whirl. Mm. Oh, delicious. So good. 
So this is the stuffed red pepper. I've had this before, it's incredible. It's actually just a special, but it was on the specials tonight. So I'm very happy mum's got her salad. Looks amazing, OMG. Daddy's got his spring rolls. <laughs> that is Olivia's salad. How is everyone feeling? I am feeling really lovely and fresh, despite having a little bit of a cold today. Um, but I'm just powering through. Today, we are in Larchi. Now, I can't remember the last time I've been here. I feel like it's such a vibe here. There's some really lovely like beach bars. We're right by the ocean. And we're just gonna have a quick explore and investigate before we take all our beach stuff and find somewhere to go and sit. But there's so many cool look, there's like buggies here. It definitely feels like a younger vibe here um, than sort of other places. There's so much going on. Oh my gosh, it's like a fish restaurant there. Um, yeah, we're just gonna have a little explore first and see what we're gonna do. You can also dive around here. So if you're an avid like scuba diver. Oh, so cute. Oh my gosh, is it a bar? <laughs> That's so adorable. That's so adorable. Oh my gosh, there's ice cream. <gasps> Guys. Gelato and crepes. Oh my gosh. Maybe not now. I'll, I'm gonna plan what I fancy doing, but oh and there's so much here. And it's scorching hot today. It's really, really hot. The next couple of days are gonna be like super super hot like no clouds in the sky kind of vibes and i'm here for it isn't it so hot today very hot Ooh, it's like thick heat but it's amazing like the best type of heat for being by the sea yeah you got the mountains and the harbor it's so cute yeah i like it here oh my gosh there's like these little jeep safari things as well that's so cool. Yeah, there's lots going on around here. I do love a harbour as well. A boat hire. <gasps> OMG. Should we have a little look? See what the price is saying? <laughs> Why not? So we have stopped off for some gelato. I picked up a snorkel as well, so I'm going to attempt to snorkel. I just wanted to show you how many amazing flavours they have of the ice cream. I don't even know if you can actually see it because of the reflection, but you've got like green mint, Maltesers, Ferrero Rocher, yogurt and honey. I've gone for rum and raisin and banoffee because they're like my two favourites. But there's so many flavours kiwi and avocado at the back there it looks incredible and panna cotta i think that had i seen that actually a minute ago i probably would have gone for that as well it looks so good there's fruit in the corner as well delish thank you so poolside i was gonna say poolside it's not poolside we're seaside mum is repping a certain hat aren't you mum Oh, a new design. Ooh, coming soon. Coming soon. <laughs> it's rather cute. I like it. it suits you. <laughs> Dad's fixing my snorkel together. And I'm about to go snorkeling in this lovely patch of water. Might have to swim over there because there's definitely going to be fishies by the harbour. Okay. Oh. That little speedboat. Thank you.
Good morning guys, so it's the last full day in Cyprus so I think the best thing to do is to just sit and enjoy the sunshine and the pool we're just having a pool day for, the, for our last full day basically and um, yeah I'm really excited to just chill and do some reading I really 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 want to finish this book that would be nice, it would be nice to complete something on this trip I also really want to catch up on my diary because I haven't had a chance to write in my diary for quite a while and um, it's funny, I do this thing where I write my diary entries in my notes and then I like write it by hand um, just because it's nicer to have like handwritten um, diary entries but yeah, quite a few to write in which is fun um, yeah, I just love, I love writing a diary I think it's really like cathartic and quite funny to read back like some things that happen in my life and um, yeah it's just it's a fun thing to do I highly recommend it if you have never done a diary give it a go even if you just do a diary for summer like a hot girl summer diary that'd be really fun um, yeah I'm just enjoying the sunshine I've got my cupshe um, bikini on and this one is so comfortable which I'm happy for because the last few days I've been wearing well, pretty much all my bikinis are pretty comfy but the one that I wore yesterday to the beach was very tight um, I bought it in a size 8 because I was worried that the bandeau like top was going to be too big and would fall down um, but no it is in fact super super tight so yeah it wasn't the most comfortable and I had a little bit of sunburn as well on my back so um, it ended up being a little bit uncomfy um, but yeah today is a chilled pool day just soaking up the sunshine and enjoying the enjoying the nice vibes but yeah i'm just gonna have a little sit down i've also got some pictures to edit which you guys might be seeing over on my instagram you hopefully should by now um but yeah it's just it's nice to do like a little bit of content but i've not really put too much pressure on myself and to be honest this past week has gone so quick i can't believe how it's wednesday today is it wednesday today yeah it's wednesday today Genuinely, normally that time goes really, really slow, but this trip has gone really fast. I think it's just because life around this trip has been really busy and chaotic, and I know I'm coming back to more busyness again, and lots of things coming soon. So I think my head's just already gearing up, ready to like work at full capacity. Um, but the next few weeks are gonna be quite exciting anyway, so obviously I'm gonna be vlogging that and taking guys along, but I'm really enjoying these vlogs and just enjoying documenting my life and my travels really. So yeah, I'm gonna have a little chilled session and um, just lay down, enjoy the sun, read, and also edit some pictures. Hi dad! <laughs> Guys, it's super, super hot right now. Um, I actually had to put a t-shirt on. I take my bikini top off because oh, it just, it's just too hot. It's too hot to wear anything. Um, but we're just about to sit down for some lunch. So I'll show you what we've got. Got some lovely bits made some cocktails obviously a little Greek salad going on there what's this again? it's, a, it's an olive bread so it's Ooh. A bit like a pano, pano olive, olive. <laughs> <laughs> delicious and then we've got this little kitty who's obsessed with dad 
Look at you. <laughs> Everyone's looking bronzed and golden. But it is very, very, very hot right now. So we're just shielding from the midday sun. Hey guys, so we have come to see Beach Bar for our last evening. Thought I would just start the vlog before the sunset starts. It's literally so warm still, I can't believe it. I'm wearing this little boohoo dress, it's yellow. It'll be featured on my Instagram and I'll tag it on my stories as well and in the description. Um, hopefully it's still in stock, but yeah. It's a little bit of a walk in the sand. Yeah, we're just gonna have some dinner and some cocktails. It's gonna be a really nice vibe. It's one of my favorite places in Cyprus. So this is the view from our table. The sun is not far off, probably an hour or so. There's people swimming in the ocean. And I've ordered a Mai Tai something a bit different so I never really go for this type of cocktail. Mum's got an iced tea, Dad's got a zero alcohol beer, just taking in the vibes. Look at that wave, oh my goodness, that's a big one. Hey guys, so I'm back home now and I'm just chilling on my bed for five minutes. I might just, hang on. Hey guys, so I'm back home now and you can probably tell by my voice, I'm a little bit congested. Like I'm not sure what's going on. Let's start that again. Hey guys, so I'm back home now and I'm back in my room on my bed, as you can probably tell. I just wanted to say good night and end today's clip because I have just had a really nice day, really relaxed, but I'm just also really tired. Like I find myself getting to like half past eight, half past nine, and I'm absolutely zonked. So what I think I'm gonna do is just stick on a bit of YouTube, maybe a bit of Netflix. I've been binge watching Firefly Lane. It's amazing. I'm nearly like finished it. I'm like towards the end of series two and obviously it ends. Series two is the last series. So I'm trying to take it easy and not go too hard on it because every episode is amazing. And I just wanna make sure I'm like not taking it for granted because it's such a good TV show. But yeah, I've been watching that. Also been watching some other YouTubers and just sort of catching up on content as well, which is nice. A couple of podcasts and things like that. But yeah, today's been really nice. I feel like the sun has completely and utterly exhausted me. It got so hot today. Um, but it was really lovely to kind of get out in the evening and watch the sunset and be at CU Beach Bar, which is one of my favourites. You guys have seen it on the vlog multiple times um, now. So 
but yeah i think i'm just gonna end the clip here whilst i still got makeup on um i might pick up the vlog camera tomorrow it's literally just gonna be like a chilled chilled morning by the pool and then we're gonna head to the airport we might pop to the supermarket just because there's some things that i love to eat um in particular this is so random but for some reason in cyprus they do clusters and they used to sell them in the uk and i'm not joking you it's my favorite cereal of all time if i could be stranded on a desert island with only one food for the rest of my days it would be clusters obviously i would need like alpro milk or something but clusters are incredible if you know you know they're literally the most simple basic cereal that i can all brand flake with these little clustery things not to be confused with crunchy nut clusters because that is something entirely different it's like an almondy cluster and i'm not joking you it's like the best thing ever in this whole wide world and it just takes me back to school and growing up and that was literally my favorite cereal growing up so to have it here i've had it literally every day for breakfast i found it last time i came to cyprus and i couldn't believe my eyes i literally picked up a million boxes so i think what i'm probably gonna have to do is pick up a million more boxes because luke my twin also loves clusters so it's a little bit of a, a childhood throwback and i'm here for it because it's just the best thing ever i really want to know i think it's nestle that do it possibly i think it's a nestle cereal nestle come on bring clusters back to the uk like why did you get rid of them like, it doesn't make any sense because they're not unhealthy um if anything they're more healthy than the average cereal like they're 90 percent bran flake um but yeah like it's the only cereal i truly truly like adore with all my soul um and i know that's a bit tragic to kind of be so happy and excited about a cereal but you know food is life guys what can i say um but yeah i'm just gonna head to bed get into bed get comfy and the aircon's on like i'm literally vibing out right now i feel like the, the word of this vlog has been vibing and vibes i'm so sorry guys i need like a better vocabulary it's just i find when i pick up the vlog camera in these types of like more chilled environments and like chilled settings that my brain just goes to mush and i can't think of anything fun or interesting to say and i just end up waffling and saying nonsense so i hope this vlog is legible that's it that's the word i hope this vlog is legible and i hope there's some things you can take from it and if not it's just some silly memories for me to look back on but yeah it's been such a nice trip it's gone so quickly back home tomorrow and then chilled weekend i've got no plans guys i've got work on friday i'm in london but i've got no plans at the weekend so i'm very happy about that um but i've already got some ideas for some video content so stay tuned because there's things coming and i've been hinting in this vlog can you tell um but yeah good night guys hopefully see you tomorrow